unexpected, but also for the history books, as a delegation from Bahrain arrives in Israel to discuss matters of the economy and matters of defense. What's going on? Well, nine people, both related to the government as well as the civilian sector, contractors and consultants for the government, have come here to figure out how to increase bilateral trade between the two nations. Well, we'll take it on two folds. The first about the accords. The accords were signed between two governments. In order for it to, to, to take place and be effective, it has to take place between the people, the people of Bahrain and the people of Israel. And that's exactly what we're doing here, taking the first step. Regarding the bilateral trade, it will take, as per what I think personally, will take or will happen on three phases. The first will happen on the uh, tourism level. The second will happen between the small industries and the big one later on will happen between the two governments on larger scale. But that trade is still a pretty low number right now. The first half of 2021 only saw $300,000 in bilateral trade between the two countries, which means everything's really about defense. Everyone's looking at the elephant in the room, and that's Iran, a threat to both Israel as well as Bahrain. And the issue is, what, does it, what can the two countries do to help each other? When we're talking about defense, we're talking as well about uh, regional geopolitics. So let's look at it that way. When Bahrain have issues with Iran, and as well Israel have issues with Iran, that says it all. Uh, we need some uh, more intelligence. We need some more uh, bilateral cooperation when it comes to the defense as well. And I think it will come within the next few months or years as well. At the moment, Israel's intelligence services, the Mossad, are considered to have some of the best network of agents and intelligence services inside Iran, which means that Bahrain, who needs those services, has to rely on Israel, which means that delegations and meetings like that, even if it's meeting in the middle of a market for a food diplomacy tour, are a critical step in building those relations for defense.